Hello, Saki. How's it going, my fellow Homo sapiens? It's your boy, Uzi Mike Edo. And this is a E Spirit art type review. What I like about it, what I dislike about what I dislike about it, and just how I feel about this arch type. So if you know anything about me, I have been looking forward to a spirit arch type for a very, very long time. I mean, we have all these random spirits, but never arch type. Now we finally got one, and I'm very hyped up and I'm very happy about that. So let's go ahead and start hopping into some of these monsters and some of the monster effects. So we have E Spirit Sudut, E Spirit Bird Sudut. It is a level 4, 1500 attack, 1500 defense, wind monster. So it seems like all the E Spirit monsters are going to be wind monsters. This card cannot be special summoned. Once per turn, if another spirit monster is normal or special summoned while you control this face up card, you can draw one card. Once per turn, during the end phase, if this card was normal summon or flip summon face up this turn, return it to the hand. So one thing we definitely need in spirits is a lot more draw power. Definitely, I think this card is definitely a must. It's a really, really good card, and I actually kind of like it. Now we have the Ritual E-Spirit Monster, E-Spirit Lord Hajakut. It is a level 8, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. And its effect is... You can ritual summon this card with E Spirit Calling. Must be ritual summoned and cannot be special summoned by any other ways. If this card is ritual summoned, you can return up to three monsters your opponent controls to the hand. Then you can special summon one level four or lower spirit monster from your hand and knowing the summoning condition. Now that's really, really nice. Once per turn, during the end phase, if this card was special summoned this turn, return it to the hand and if you do special summon two e spirit bird tokens nice that's really really nice level four 1500 attack 1500 defense i really like this because what it does is one of the biggest issues with spirits is at the end phase it goes back to the hand and with this it goes back to hand but it leaves some tokens on the field protecting your life points so now we have e spirit lord hemmer chuku wow very difficult names to pronounce uh, we have a level 8, 2,500 attack, 3,000 defense. And this one reads, you can ritual summon this card using E Spirit Calling. Must be ritual summoned and cannot be special summoned by any other ways. If this card is ritual summoned, you can shuffle up to blank spelling trap cards your opponent controls into the deck. Nice, I like that. Then you can special summon blank level or lower spirit monsters from your deck and knowing the summoning condition. Once per turn, during the end phase, if this card was special summoned this turn, return it to the hand and special summon blank E Spirit token. So just like the other ritual monster, this one goes back to the hand and it leaves something on the field. So that's really, really nice. The next card we're going to look at is actually the E Spirit ritual spell card, E Spirit Calling. This card cannot. This card can be used to ritual summon E Spirit Lord. Both of the E Spirit um, ritual monsters. You must also tribute monsters from your hand, fill, and or banish spirit monsters from your graveyard, who level equals exactly the level of the ritual monsters to ritual summon. I really like this because it allows you not just to use hand and fill, but also the graveyard, and that is really really strong. I really really like that. The next card, I this personally is my favorite E Spirit card, is E Spirit Healing. If you okay, if you if a face up spirit monster you control returns to the hand while this card is in your spell and trap card zone, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Nice, that is very strong. I really like that. When your opponent monster declare an attack, you can banish one spirit monster in your graveyard to negate the attack. Then in the battle phase, <laughs> you can only use each effect once, each effect of each spirit once per turn. I really like this card. This spell or trap card really helps spirits out. I mean, this card here is very, very strong. This is something spirits definitely needed because one thing spirits always go back to their hand, so you can get rid of something. Not just that, one of the biggest issues is your opponent just attack directly and you have nothing to really protect yourself. So with this, it allows you to end your opponent battle phase. 
And the last one we have is E-Spirit Power Spot. I really like this card. Now, at first, I didn't like it at first, but now I'm really liking it. So, all spirit monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. And at first, I felt like that wasn't enough, but when you actually play this card and you have a few of them on the field, that's a 1,000 attack and defense. <laughs> so, I mean, this is really, really good. Um, if a face-up win monster you control will return to your hand, you can add... Okay, if a face-up win monster you control returns to the hand, you can add one spirit monster or ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of E spirit pot spot once per turn. So I really like that because it also gives you a searcher to search out the ritual spell card. So overall, what do I feel about this archetype? Well, I actually been trying this archetype on Dead Pro, and it's an okay archetype, but the fact of it is Right now, I, I don't feel like it's competitive. Maybe it's just a build that I have, but I don't see this being in like a tournament type of deck, uh, a tournament type deck. I feel like this deck right now is kind of still play for fun. Uh, one of the biggest issues is, yes, you can special summon some of your spirits, but most spirit monsters must be normal summon to gain their effect. Except with E-Spirit Bird uh, Sudut, he can be special summoned and still gain his effect. What I really want to see for E-Spirit support is something that protects spirit monsters. Something that protects spirit monsters from being destroyed by card effects. Because that's another big issue. We have so many great spirit monsters, but they're just very, very difficult to really get on the field and attack. Um, it's very difficult to really kind of go in. Not just that, I mean, I'm not a big ritual monster fan. I'm going to be honest with you. And... Ritual spirit monsters to me personally is a really big turnoff because you have to have other cars to get these spirit monsters on the field and how do we get our spirit monsters back? I mean we, we can banish them from the graveyard or we ritual summon but what ends up happening I feel that we have to side in like other ritual cards to kind of play this and I really don't want to play something like uh, spirits knee cloths or something like another ritual deck. I really just want to play spirits. This e spirits, but overall, I think it's a, a pretty interesting art type. Maybe all the support is not out. Maybe we're going to get a really, really nasty field card or something somewhere down the line. But overall, I'm very happy with this deck. Um, I'm just hoping that we get more support, something that can help spirits out as in protecting them. But not just that, I, I would like to see something that would get some of the bigger spirits out on the field instead of like special summoning special summoning them, but some way we can normal summon them without tribute, something to really help spirits up out, really speed it up, because one of the biggest issues I have is the deck feel really, really slow. Now, when the deck goes off, it goes off well. It goes off really, really nice, um, but any other time, it, it's just it's too slow for the meta we're in, and we're going into the next meta where Treat Toad and all that's going to be legal, and the deck is just really, really, really slow. I mean, good cards to play in here is going to be like uh, Nekatama and Aritama, those are great cards, but at the same time, you need a lot of back row because your spirit monster still goes back to your hand at the end phase, so you need something to protect yourself. So overall, it's a good, I think it's a, a, a pretty interesting archetype, but we're going to need a lot more support. But that's all I have for you today. What do you feel about the E-Spirit um, archetype? Do you think they need more? Do you think it's very competitive? What's your personal opinions? But that's all I have. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Matane.